And so I said, well, let me throw this out to the Scotia volunteers. Let me ask. So I asked, and there is a Scotia volunteer. Is she here? An outstanding volunteer, maybe because she's so tall too. Um, one of our outstanding netballers too, Suzette D'Souza. We sent out the communication and I got an overwhelming number of um, Scotia bankers responding that they would assist and in various, many different ways. But Suzette decided that she would donate a computer to Jordan. And so Suzette is here and we want to make that special presentation to Jordan and his mommy is also here. Come Jordan. And I'm going to put him on the spot. How is life at Camp here? It's okay. It's okay? Are you loving it? Not really. Not really? How <laughs> Pressuring? Ah. Well, that's all a part of life, right? But we're always here to support you. Okay? And so what do you want to do when you finish Campion and High um, University? Um, an entrepreneur. No, that is something. Who is an entrepreneur? Um, a man or woman who opens up businesses to get that woman Exactly. And, and that's awesome because that is something that we focus on here at Scotiabank. In fact, right now we have an entrepreneurial challenge going on where we're looking for outstanding businessmen and women who have weathered the storm in the last couple of years. And that, I'm very proud to hear that because entrepreneurs, when they start businesses, they create employment for other people. And that is a big plus. We need a lot of that. So, awesome. Awesome. And so, Suzette. So, go over here. Now, we have to hear from Suzette why. I do this to everybody. Don't worry. I do it to everybody. Now, Suzette, what made you decide that you would respond? Well, um, well, this is kind of a surprise to me. Um, I saw Rochelle this morning, and she said she was trying to get me yesterday, but yes. didn't. I said, oh, Jolie wanted to present this computer today. I thought this computer was presented long ago. <laughs> but anyway, what I decided, I, I thought um, when I was going to high school, I had challenges too, and um, really I didn't have anyone to step up to it. And I know it's kind of challenging when you're going to school and you need to do your assignment and then you don't have a computer, and most schools now are going the computer way, technology. And so I had this computer at home, doing nothing with it. And I said, this young man would be more beneficial to him. So it wasn't any really great challenge for me to just take it up and say, join him. What Suzette is also presenting to him is a check from the other volunteers who responded. Thank you. Now, Monique, I know she's sitting here and she says, I'm not going to say anything today, but then I do this to everybody. So. Monique is head of marketing. She's responsible for all the exciting things you see happening at Scotia Bank in marketing and the Scotia Foundation. So, I'm gonna put her on the spot. Monique Todd, come and say something. You can't see all these beautiful kids and not say anything to them. And she's just as short as you all are. Thanks, Jolie. Good morning, everyone. How does it feel to be here this morning to witness such a great occasion? Well, I think Jolene has pretty much summed it up um, in terms of why we're here this morning. And she has started to say in terms of really the potential that this donation has. And I think for us at Scotiabank, and I 
would like to first start by recognizing Jolene and her team, Rochelle, for the hard work. It has been months upon months to work with our branch managers, work with our branches across the island to really go into the communities and choose the schools that we feel are most deserved of these computers and that can maximize the potential of these computers. So please join me in recognizing Rochelle and Joyline for their hard work. And then it comes down to our teachers and our students that we have with us here today. Because really, you know, what keeps us going even at the foundation and at Scotiabank is if you can touch one life and make a difference. It makes everything worthwhile. And I think that's what today is about. This is, Jolie, remind me, 113 computers. 113 computers in 50 institutions across the island. Which is not, I mean, one day we want to get to every single inst educational institution in the island where every single student can be prepared for when they hit university or be prepared for technology, technology will be second nature for them. So we implore every teacher to maximize the use of the computer, to protect it, but to really share the knowledge. And don't be afraid, as um, was said earlier, don't be afraid of the technology, but embrace it. But also I appeal to all the young minds, the young minds, the bright minds that are here with us today at all the different age levels, that this is where it starts. As Jolene mentioned, just by every day consistently coming to school and consistently listening to your teacher and consistently applying yourself to what they're telling you, 110% will ensure you have a bright future. And that's what it's about today, bright future the younger generation preparing them so that Jamaica, our country, can start on a path of recovery and really, you know, be again once known internationally for our intellectual capacity and overshadow all the other negatives that are happening around us. So students, take every day at a time and for even our teachers, each and every one of us, remember God doesn't give us anything unless he feels we can handle it. And I know all of us face many challenges in our life. So please, let's make maximum use of the computers. Let's share the technology. Students, you can even go home and tell your family about what you learned, what you saw on the computer. Things that you probably, you know, we wouldn't even see in Jamaica, but now you can access the World Wide Web and see what a great way it looks like and understand, you know, at the university level, the different microscopic, am I saying it right? All the different things that happen in terms of biology. So it really is about exposure. We don't need to leave the shores of Jamaica for exposure. We have these computers that can take us all around the world. So I implore everybody on behalf of Scotiabank, just make the most of what you're being given today and let us know about it so that we can even be more encouraged to continue the work that we're doing here through our Scotia Foundation. So I leave it in your hands, the ball's in your court. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Monique. So right now we're just gonna do a symbolic presentation of the computers and following this, the boxes are labeled um, the students from Penwood High School who are here, um, they are in the green shirts, Mark Kamara. They will assist you in identifying your computers. And for those persons who will be picking up computers, if you are parked around by the side, we ask you to drive around and come here. And the truck is also here with the rest of the computers. So the Students from Kamara will assist you in loading the computers into your vehicle and you just drive around. Those of you who were parked in the parking lot, you would have gotten a yellow card. Didn't mean you do anything wrong. You got a yellow card 
and yes <laughs> and Jermaine where are you right that's Jermaine Jermaine has a stickers show your hand again Jermaine so everybody know where to find you Jermaine will give you a sticker that will allow you to drive out of the parking lot and you come around and the students will assist you um, in putting the computers in but right now we're gonna have a presentation and this is how we're going to do it I would love six students from basic right up to primary different schools to come forward so we can do a symbolic presentation right one from each school one two okay I think we have six yes we do More than six. Okay, okay, we're gonna work with it. Who is this little, little, little person here? You know, I love to move with my mind. Bruce, can I move my mind? Can I? I have to find out some things about these are the people here. Thank you. All right. So we're going to find out a little bit about some people. Hi, good morning. Good morning. And what's your name? Becca. Say that loud so everybody can hear. Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca Grant. Oh, that's a lovely name. And which school do you go to, Rebecca? What a long name. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what a computer is? Ah, but you're going to get one today. All right? Exactly. And the computer is going to help you to learn a lot of things at school. Okay, Rebecca? All right. And who is this? Kina is... Douglas. And which school are you from? Holy well, Family Primary and Infant School. I know that school. It's a nice school. Yeah. Yes. We have a breakfast feeding program at Holy Family. So, what are you going to use the computer at your school to do? Help me to pass my literacy test. Yes, the literacy. What, what grade are you in? Four. Grade four. And you know the grade four literacy test is when it all begins. Great. Who has want to talk to me? I'll give you the option. Mm 